Okay guys, hello, welcome back. Today is day six of Interview Medmiss. Um, I hope that you're enjoying it so far. And today's question again is on knowledge of medical school questions. And the question is, what would you do if you would fall behind on this course? Pause the video, jot down a few ideas, and we'll regroup in a second. Okay, so I think this question is really trying to be like, realistically, there is a possibility that you are going to fall behind on this course. This course is challenging. There's a lot to do. And sometimes just life happens, you know? And what would you do? Like, what would be your game plan if this would actually happen to you? So I think that the way you have to evaluate and show to the interviewers that you accept and you agree that this is a possibility. If you start being like, oh, me? I'm never going to fall behind. Hello, I've never been behind in my life. It's not going to start tomorrow. Then that would be, that would show to the examiner a lack of maturity, of fully understanding what a medical degree is about. Medical school is tough. There's a lot to do, but it's really, really cool. It's so nice and it's so amazing, but it's tough. You can't like forget that and you can't just put that to the side. So it's not like school. It's not like A-level. So it is possible. And you're also here for five months, for five years. Like there is a solid chance that at some point you might fall behind and that's okay. But what will you do if it happens? So the way you would have to say is like, I do accept and I do agree that this is a possibility. And if this would happen to me, which it could, this is the way I would go about it. So maybe you will say that and try to calm down, take a step back and evaluate the situation. Why did you fall behind? What were the things that made you fall behind? Is it just a lack of interest in the course? Um, is it because you don't like the semester? You don't like doing neurology? What is that even about? Like learning about just blumps of grey? That's not that interesting. Um, and that's maybe why you fell behind because you were not as interested in the topic. Did you fall behind because something happened in your personal life that is taking a lot of emotional attention from you? Try to fully appraise and evaluate why you fell behind. And then, how, what are you going to do about it? Now that you know what is governing, what are you now going to do about it? So then you can see like, okay, that would be my game plan. If I did fall behind, step one, I evaluate and I figure out what happened. Step two, I'm going to ask for help and seek help because I know that medical schools, most of them have like a support team. So I'll reach out to the support team and let them know and being like, hey, I fell behind. I'm a bit worried. I'm trying to like catch up, but can you help me and can we, can we create a plan together of how to fully do this correctly? And then once you've seeked help, try to fully implement the techniques uh, that the support team has suggested to you. So let's say the support team helps you realize that you've fallen behind because of personal issues or because there's too much work and you're lacking motivation, then maybe what are you going to do about this? How are you going to gain motivation back? Do you need to like study with a group of people? Do you need to maybe like take a week off fully and just reset and then come back really really like well do you need to take a few months off you know like I think the way to answer this question is fully being like okay I've identified that there's a problem I've tried to figure out on my own what the problem is I've then seeked for help and asked for help and that's we've created a plan and we've actually fine-tuned actually what the actual problem was and then from that how am I going to solve said problem that made me fall behind and how am I now going to like catch back up my work so yeah that would be the thing. So if I take an example that you fell behind because you were lacking motivation, why are you lacking motivation? If it's because the course is difficult and you're not liking the topic, maybe the the plan of action is to be like trying to find a study group and studying as a, as a group so you actually feel like you matter, you feel like accountable by that group and then you actually can get your work back. And then maybe that's actually also the solution for you catching back up the work because you're going to find a really, really good group that's going to be willing to share notes and help you get back on track and things like that. So that's how I would answer this question. I hope this was useful. If it was, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video with other people that could benefit from it, from it as well. And something else that I wanted to say what would you answer us this question? Do you think that, um, like, how would you approach this question? Maybe you approach it completely differently. Let me know down below in the comments. Let's start a conversation. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for day seven, I think it is now. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.